green side. Hey, this is going to be serious today. So I better do the black side. Put my goon hat on. Put my goon crown on. This is a goon top. Look. Mm. Oh, I actually put, hey, look at that. She put real little ginger things in there. After a while you can just chew them. It's nice. Okay. Huh? Look. Going back to assignment. I give out assignments. Let's just say it that way. Look. Here's the thing. We, we've discussed this a, a lot. Everybody that's sniping at ADOS, it's a very simple message. Look. You got other fish to fry. Leave us be. Leave us do what we do. You know, we, we're babies. You know, we're uh, two years, max three years in, 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 in whatever, you know, and merging it within the last, I don't know, six months, whatever it is, eight months. So instead of trying to kill us like the white supremacists would like you to do, right, do what you need to do. Let me, let me start with some of the most, mm, 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 mm. let me leave them alone. Remember I said before, like the Haitians, what they did to do is wrap themselves in the Haitian flag and not only go after France, but also go after the Clinton Foundation because they have jacked you up more than France, well, not more than, but just as France jacked you up, they, and you need to go to France and tell them that that, that, that reparations we paid, you know, the back tax, whatever your, whatever flim fans things you had to do because of the language, whatever it is. No, no, no. We're not paying no more taxes. In fact, get that stuff back. You owe us back. So, hey, Haitians, you got to use, you got two fronts, you know, you, you got, you got the, you got the Clintons and their old foundation, what they've been doing to you, right? Then you got France, okay? So you got, busy yourself with that. Okay, or especially you Haitian descent from descendants people, you do that. Okay, you off got it? Go do that. By doing that, you'll be else helping us too. Let me just deal with, okay, and, and all the Caribbean people, you know, with the African, Caracom, whatever it is, you, you you all know what I'm talking about. Let me go to the Africans, not the Africans, Nigerians specifically. Here's a problem. There's, there were many, there were different waves of Nigerians coming into the country. Right? Now the first, let me go, in fact, stop there, let me go back. When I first really started to travel deeply, I'm not talking about like 1988 when I went to Montreal Jazz Festival, that wasn't really traveling, the problem, that was for my birthday gift. But that year after, 1989, that's when I started traveling. First I went to Panama, then I went to, um, then I went to uh, 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 Guatemala and Belize, a bunch of other places and that, and that thing. It was a four month trip. When I first started traveling, it was interesting because people, maybe just me, but people would ask me about things like the, the Black Panthers, right? They would say they would say things like, well, you know, Black Panthers, are, when I traveled a little bit later in the 90s, they would ask about Rodney King, all kinds of things like that, right? Then I noticed that in the late 90s, um, going, no, not even late 90s, in, into the early 2000s, maybe late 90s too, people started more talking about hip hop. You know what I mean? Oh, what about hip hop? Blah, 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 blah. Now, we're talking about after 2000, 2011, 10, whatever it is. Now I hear like, oh, America, you, you come from America. You want to go there? Why you want to go there? Because America, America, America. And I always try to tell them, well, that's because you've been watching too much TV. You know, if you saw Paris on TV all the time, you'd want to go to Paris. So if you saw Moscow, you'd want to go to Moscow. You know, if you saw, you know, uh, 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 Salvador Bahia, you want to go to Salvador Bahia all the time. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I explain. But they still want to come to, to America. Why do they want to come back? Because they want to make money. They want to make money. They see it as money making, right? Mm. So that's where it is now. Now, let me go back to the Nigerians. When they first came, you know, uh, 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 you know, they would come and do the educational things, all kinds of things. Then later on, when when what we call poor Nigerians came, they they and they would integrate into our communities, right? And because it's the poor, they would see the the worst of us, if you want to call it the worst of us, the worst of our circumstance, right? And then they, because they they're cabaling themselves, you know, they could get themselves out of that a little bit, their little associations, they might get little associations and stuff like that. 
Black People Association from the beginning. They've been, we've been infiltrated by white people all the time. You know what I'm talking about? From the NAACP. Uh, right, so let's leave them out of it for now. For, for now, you know, e even when you have things like they have the student non not, not, not snake, but say um, uh, um, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference (SCLC), right? I mean, you know, financed a lot by you know, by, by white people. So you know, you, can't, you always got white people in there, and it's some, some some something like that. Okay, now. So Nigerians come over and they start to in, in the early '90s or whatever they come. Then, but, but what happened in the mid-90s? What about 95, 96, what it? Here's what I tell them. I say, you Nigerians, I don't care when you came. And maybe crystallize it for you. Ken, Sergio, uh, 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 Sergio um, uh, Weaver. Ken, Sergio Weaver, playwright, you know. Oh, uh, he did a, did a, uh, uh, he made his bones out of doing the TV program, but you know, playwright, and then became activist and became obsessed with his activism. Okay, activism uh, for his little. Remember, in Nigeria, they have they have like like most Africans, there's several uh, clans, tribes, groupings, whatever it is. And his his particular grouping was 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 a, like a minority grouping. You know, you, you have to, like the Yoruba, the Igbo. You know, his was a, a minority, a, a smaller grouping. But they were down there in the, in, in the Delta where we had all the oil. And to this day, their lands are all messed up, and people can't farm on their lands. They, they they're not getting any restitution. Whatever. Let me get, get some later. Well, Nigerians, you were up here running over to the United States at the same time Ken was fighting for the, for for his land, for his people, and to have the, the was a Shell, it was Shell Oil Company, not to, to pollute the land, have all these pipelines busting or whatever, have your flames coming up or whatever, you know, like like modern fracking, but this is like real with land, not just your faucets or whatever it is. So that's happening. What were you doing when that was happening? Were you defending him? Were you defending that that grouping, that Nigerian grouping? No, you were running to the United States, giving your taxes to 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 the United States, and then, of course the taxes or the, the the taxes go to to the oil companies tax free. They just get whatever they want to do, and so that same taxes you paid them, they say they say same taxes and sub further subjugate a grouping of of, of your country persons or your of your continental persons. You actually contribute to the destruction, to the to, to, to the to the death of Ken. You contributed to his death, and to this day, you continue to come over and and, and to and, and, and to take spots. That, I won't get to that part. You continue to come over and contributing to the destruction of your own country. Why aren't you dealing with your own president of your country? Forget who, forget the English Your own president. Why are you over here? I don't understand that. Why are you over here sniping at ADOS when you need to be doing? You see, same thing. Let me just, let me just kill these Pan Africans for forever. I'm a Pan Africanist in body, but in mind, right now, I'm an ADOS. That didn't happen before. So even though I'm Pan African, look, Pan, Pan Africanist. You want to speak for all of all of uh, the diaspora and, and and Africa? Fine. Okay, got some stuff for you to do. Okay, what, what's the Tanzanian president that, that 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 said he wasn't going to deal with the gay and lesbian thing, whatever you know that that that, that whole thing? And then the, then the the, the, the funder said that we're not going to send you no no more money. He said, fine, you go. We ain't we ain't we ain't going to bend to your will. What happened? You know? Well, why don't you defend him? What, what, you see? And if you're on the other side, some 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 gay and lesbian trip, and you and and you and you want to defend yourself, then why aren't you jumping into to to, to why aren't you dealing with um, Pan Africanists? Pan African, I guess there's no Pan African lesbians or, or gays. I'm not really sure. But why aren't you dealing with Uganda, who got their mar who got their anti-gay marching orders from Southern Christian crackers? You heard what I said. They went to Southern Crickers, Christian Crackers. The basically those Southern Christian Crackers taught those legislators in Ghana how to how to how to how to, how to write their laws. Why aren't you dealing with them? Why are you sniping at ADOS? I don't get it. Finally, let me leave that. Okay, so you all got your mind. Pan Africans, do what you need to do and leave ADOS alone. Okay, stop sniping. Okay? Nigerians, leave ADOS alone. Go ahead and deal. And just stop being cowards. And deal. Okay? Haitians, deal. All over the world. Deal, 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 deal with your little thing. Because we have our thing and we're dealing with it. Don't, don't try to distract us. Don't send in your little agents and your whatever. No. No! Now let's get to ADOS. My peoples, my peoples, my people. I love this.
this movement. Look, it's simple as this. Different generations have different priorities of whatever happened. I love the fact that ADOS called out, you know, the uh, so-called baby boomers. I'm a baby boomer. I'm sort of an outlier baby boomer, but I'm still a baby boomer. We won't get the technical dealers of all this stuff. We need to deal, but we need to deal in a different way, a different strategy, right? For one, I happen to think, let me just put it this way. When, when I teach, I don't, I realize that, that this modern generation, you know, they're not understanding what I'm talking about. So I don't really, I'm a, I used to teach like this. I would teach no more than one generation or two generations uh, 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 ahead of me. So if, if, uh, if I'm 60, I would, wouldn't go past 40, you know, that kind of thing, you know? Why? Because they're different. We're dealing with whole different realities, whole different circumstances. And I, being you know over you know an elder, whatever it is, my circumstances was totally different than this circumstance they're dealing with right now. Now I can't put my more raise in my circumstance. I can, but it won't work. They're just going to reject it. But that's neither here nor there. Here's what I'm proposing. As we organize, especially when this conference comes up, I mean, I don't want to segregate people. I mean, I like intergenerational things, of course, you know, I mean, especially audio drama deals with intergenerational things. But here's the thing. I mean, there was real serious discussions, right? I would say we have to demark, like, from um, un under 20 year olds, that's in, like, one group, you know what I mean? 20 to 35 is in a whole other group. And, and then some, some of them are segregated male and female, some are not, right? Uh, depending what you, well, depends. Um, um, uh, and then from say 40 to, I don't know, 50 something is, 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 is another group, group. I'll make, make that group smaller. And then from 50 something to 64 is a whole other group, okay? I know there's a, I'm getting to the weeds now, but let me leave that alone for right now. But the group I'm most interested in is those baby boobers. Over 64, I only want to talk to over 64 year old people. That's it. At the conference, I mean, I've talked to everybody. Conference, I want to get a group, a cabal. It's over 64. In fact, I would really like to make it just men. Just men. Warriors. Okay? The women, you can do that. You, go go do whatever women do. I don't know what they do in war. Okay? I know what I know what men do in war. I know what black men are capable of and do and, and have done and do in war. That's what I'm interested in. In this movement, I don't care about, I, I do care about, but I'm not concerned with allies. I'm not concerned with snipers. I'm not concerned with uh, people in our ranks. I'm concerned with just those people, over 64 black men. We got things to do, but yeah, like Harry Belafonte said we blinked. Ah, he, ha, ha, ha. Okay, we blinked. I think we just closed our eyes. We just like, oh, let me get the, 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 the let me buy into the American dream just like the Nigerians and, the, and everybody else that come here to try to do. Let's buy into the no, okay? Ain't going for it, okay? We need to say we messed up. We were tactically out of position. We know how we messed up. Look, we just got to give it up now. You know, we got to go into battle. We got to lose our lives or win the war. It's as simple as that. Cause we at war been at war, know we've been at war, and now it's time to rise up. It's as simple as that. Rise up, black man. Rise up. That's the best thing for me. T from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed. Right here at ADES of the ADOS, American Descendants of Chattel Slavery. Letting you know what I only suspect. Hey, Master Coley, could you turn that off for me? Why? Because yeah. you're a youngster and I'm a